The children and parents of Alpine Little League were hoping that this weekend would be all about baseball. Instead, it's all about reclaiming their lives after the devastation of the West Fire, which has claimed at least 18 structures in East County. But on Saturday night, the citizens of Alpine can take their minds off the destruction as their 2-0 team faces Cajon de Oro in the District 41 All-Star Semi-Final. So let's go out to the fields at Cajon de Oro where players on both teams were affected by the fire on Friday. The leagues in District 41 pooling together their profits from Saturday's games into big check to help out the sister of Cajon de Oro player Justin Castro, whose family lost everything in the fire. Is for the game, top of three Cajonderos. Xavier Farnham hitting a bomb over left for a solo shot and a 4-2 lead. Bottom of the six now, Alpine evacuee. K. Gear sack, fly, bringing in one, making it 4-3, but that's going to be the final Cajondoro. Now 3-0 goes directly to the District 41 Championship. Alpine now 2-1, has an additional semifinal game against 3-1 West Hills tomorrow. Again, final 4-3 Cajondoro. We're just extremely grateful to know that, you know, there's Little League uh, community full of great people. And there's nothing to go home to. There's not a house. There's not a home. And that's what, you know, it brings us back to reality. But everything that, every little bit counts, and that's what, that's what is keeping us moving forward. I mean, we had a long break, so it feels great. Uh, we had a long, a long break. Haven't been playing baseball for a while, so feels good to just go back on the field. Power of sports cannot be defied. District 32, Scripps, Ranch, and Point Loma. On the mound, Point Loma's Derek Crone-Witter striking out four Scripps Ranch batters in the second inning, finishing with nine Ks on the day. Scripps Ranch taking the lead in the third. Jordan Green, little old single there. Two runs coming on in for a 3-1 lead. PL responding, Liam Canavino single, part of a four-run fifth inning and a 5-3 lead. Then here comes Scripps, Dan Fainer, deep, deep, gone in the top of the six to cut the lead to one run. But Point Loma Shark star Cole Gibson, range it to the right and makes an accurate throw for the final out, 5-4 victory. PL, District 32 champions, 5-4. We never really give up. We always have a fight in us and we always know at least Half the team, at least, knows that we can still battle back from any deficit. To get a banner for PL is a great memory, and PL baseball is what we're trying to show everyone here. District 42, where the champions always reside. Parkview playing host to Sweetwater Valley. Second inning, Sweetwater down 2 nothing until Elijah Selga hitting the three-run log bomb. Give his team the lead. Tied at four in the fourth. Parkview's Ivan Rodriguez. Single right there to score Jose Mendoza, and that's the go-ahead run, 5-4. Parkview champ of D42, 6-4. Do what I can, came back, they gave their best, like I did. Well, we're champions, that's all that matters. I know something about winning down there at Parkview, right? Okay, Lemon Grove and Las Palmas facing off in the District 66 championship game in the second tied at two until Lemon Grove's Nico Mosley drives in Matt Martinez to break the tie and make it three to two. Nice slide on in there. Then still in the second, it's Matthew Johnson now with a double. Two more run scores. Lemon Grove puts up seven in the inning and goes on to win this one 12-2. Lemon Grove, D66 tied. Well, we've, we've been together for like four or five years and we've been working at it for a long time and finally our 12 year old year we finally got it so it means a lot to us. For the second time in as many years, Lincoln and Torrey Pines facing off in the South County Pass and Tournament Championship game at Southwestern. Here comes Chris Dabble at a key Sean Smith, making it 16 0 Hornets for the defending tournament champions. But Torrey Pines not going down like that. Jason, I'm going to Tucker Drowdy to get the Falcons the 27 25 lead. Torrey's back with the ball though, but here's a little defense. Don't say seven on seven, eight about defense, because it is when Prince Emanuel gets the interception. 28-27 Falcons at that point, and then we finish it off. Devil going to the Don. Mr. Chapman with the game winning touchdown. Final 33-28. Lincoln wins it. I came back and I just brought it back together. You know, some of our younger guys, they got we have a young team, so they have to step up a little bit more than usual. They came at us tough and we came at them back. Then the the play I made at the end of the game, they kind of hit me. And I was like, I'm not gonna lose this game no matter what. And then I just 
came together with my brothers and we, we finished strong and having fun.